my gosh, dude. What about 70 pounds of drag? going on Gulf Coast Nation guys welcome home Blaine and I we're in South Florida baby and we are going after big hoss sharks just like you guys saw in Friday's episode we went to Sebastian Inlet with WC fishing if you haven't seen that video check it out but it's the night of right after Blaine, Blaine and I came straight here and we are going after some big hoss sharks so buckle your seatbelt ladies and gentlemen because it's gonna be a ride let's do it Woo! All right, Blaine is headed out. All right, guys, Dylan is heading out with his bait. Both baits are set for the night. Make a move. <laughs> yeah, baby. Bro, that run. Guys, I think we've got what we came for right now. Playing this boat up on his tear from a tackle rod. We have been out here for 10, 15 minutes. And that initial hook set was an absolute stripper. Most I have ever seen in my entire life, baby. Welcome to South Florida. And we're getting it, baby. Let's go. Woo! Going back up. Uh, right now, although this is a very big fish on the new tear from a tackle rod, breaking in the Barrett plate. Oh, truly breaking in planes. Look at the We've stopped him once. Good. every single connection to the max. There it is. All right, so I'm back here spotting Blaine right here, and I want to make sure that I am on him tight. Are you on me still? Yeah, I'm still on him. All right. Is he going again? No. Yeah, baby! Hold me, hold me. 
connection knots out we've got to get this thing in so Blaine is trying to enjoy this fight completely but the clock is against us in two ways we don't want to take too long because obviously the more time the fish is in the water the more things that could go wrong but we also want to think of the health of it. most likely this is a hammerhead shark so we want to make sure this fish stays healthy and stays safe off on that fish. Just got Blaine's reel set. We're all set up. Drag is set real light with the current.
with about 70 pounds of drag. I need to get both of my hands on this thing. Stalemate. I'm in a stalemate in my life right now. Oh no. You can feel it. I feel like it's cold drag right now. Much, bro. I'm at full of this Really? Uh, what are you? We're like, he's not pulling drag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. I can feel this much. If y'all remember very much, but I've I've been reeling in a good bit. Check out this spool. Ow. There, just not, there just was not much line left. But upon hook set, I got tight to it, got tight to it, got tight to it, and then just like it was like Blaine just left the house. I guess just giant hammer. But it was the drop was not that long, but by the time I got to the rod. It was going so, so fast that it was, it took me already deep in the spool and then when I set the hook, it was, I don't know, we're gonna see. I don't know if we popped off or broke off or what happened, but we were putting at least 68, 70 pounds of drag on that fish. On real stuff. I've never felt that amount of pressure in my arm. It's cold out here, guys. Like, it's, it's like cold. it's South Florida, it is cold. It's cold. This is not, Ah. Okay. All right, I'm trying to keep the energy high because I just lost what was most likely 100% the fish of a lifetime, just like Blaine. And I don't know. I have I have never had a fight like that in the hardest of my entire life. When I set the hook, he ended up taking me down to like I mean there was like this much left. Like I could have had literally under 100 yards left. So I was at full on my TRX. We scaled it out at home. It's like 74, 73 pounds at full strike at full spool at home. And those of you who know physics and leverage, the deeper you get, the more increase and in drag there would be. And so I had like this much line left. So I have no idea. But Blaine and I, there's like foot marks down here. Blaine spotting me and getting dragged. I am like max lean back, legs locked at an angle like this. And one, he would just decide to go. Like, it would be a stalemate. I'm like, all right, like, I fought Big Tigers. Like, turn his head, turn his head, turn his head, and then you'll just start gaining on him. And it was like, pull, 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 and he would head shake, head shake. Pull, 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 head shake, head shake. And then he would just, like, leave the house. And it would just, it would feel so effortless and make me feel so defeated because he just would just go. And it was like, Full drag, all I can hold. Blaine's getting drugged. We're both getting drugged together, and it's wow! And it's just like, what in the world? That's like, I've never, never felt a fish like that. I'm almost 100% certain again that was a hammerhead shark. And both of the class fish that Blaine and I hooked were were high class fish, big fish, very exciting stuff. So all I guess I can say since we did not land these fish was. I'm just happy we had the opportunity to catch, or hook, not catch, 
to hook these fish, experience the fight like we did. Do we want to catch those fish in the future? Absolutely. Do I wish today would have gone differently and we have two giant hammers on the beach? Absolutely. But I'm just thankful that I get to be in the harness. New harness, I got my old rod back. What a way to break the old rod in. What a way for Blaine to break in his tear from a tackle rod for the first fish. And, you know, hammer fishing can be tough in general. When you're putting that much pressure on a fish, you're putting the pressure on all your connections, all your knots, every single, you know, uni or FG or PR knot or uni knot, whatever you've been tying, it's just everything is strained to the max. And uh, unfortunately, we came out zeros today on both of those. Had Blaine got cut off and mine popped at the bottom. So it, uh, at least we didn't lose much line. I guess. Yeah. We're walking out of here just two liters down and two hearts down. But we're going to stay positive. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. We've got Blaine's rod out. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Because there's like two rows. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. I hope you guys can take something away from this because we really do want you guys to like have fun and enjoy. So maybe you find a different perspective through watching us lose two giant giant i mean in my mind i'm thinking like 12 13 14 foot fish maybe they're just 10 foot fish i don't know but well we can speculate all we want we didn't find them but hope you guys enjoyed it and like we said at the beginning of the video go ahead and check out the website gulfcoastnation.com we don't sell crap because we wouldn't give you guys crap okay we do the best we can to bring you guys the best content the best fishing experience charter wise and the best apparel we can so go check out the website gulfcoastnation.com it's in the description but that's going to be it for this week's episode. Blaine and I are about to load the truck up. We're about to drive nine hours back home. So we got to get all that stuff done. We're going to close this episode out. Ew!